Hello, this is Reverend Fellers, and I'm sitting with Kay Smith, Artist Laureate of Illinois, and we're looking at another one of Kay's paintings, and this one is Valley Forge. Kay, what can you tell me about this painting? I always try to go to on location at the same time the event happened. So I am standing there on a frigid day, December 19th, 1971, at Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, on the same frozen fields on which George Washington housed his ragged army of 11,000 men 200 years before. Here the men built 1,000 crude huts with an axe as their only tool. They suffered through a hellish winter of lack, cold, and disease, no soap, no soup, legs of nothing for dinner, and no turnips. In the annals of military history, George Washington's tenacity in keeping the Continental Army loyal and able through that bitter winter of 1777 to the spring campaign of 1778 is incontestable. Beloved by his men, he was truly indispensable man, the unflappable, steadfast individual who, against political ineptness, lack of government support and money, jealous rivalry, he held the Continental Army together through that terrible winter at Valley Forge. And Kay, when we look at the painting, the painting, it looks cold. The painting looks cold. It, was this all intentional? No, it was, it was very cold. It was uh, in the uh, 20s, and that's cold to be out uh, photographing and sketching. Uh, and so I did this by degrees, by running back and forth to my car to get warm. But it was sear and brown, uninhabitable terrain under a leaden sky when I was there. So I painted Company Street in Valley Forge with its huts, its solitary tree, its frozen hills. In the frigid foreground, I used sober brooding colors, such as Van Dyke brown, a burnt umber, burnt sienna, a some, uh, a some raw sienna that went underneath that. But I could get these dark brooding colors and I could use a, the little snow that had fallen there at, at Valley Forge the day before that to get this strong thrust upward, upward and to the right and upward into that first the hut. And then this snow that goes across the middle part of the painting leads the eye back over to the tree. Uh, and then the tree, through its thrust to the right, brings the eye up into the sky which I painted in the diluted colors of the, the colors I had used in the foreground. And adding a little bit of, uh, of uh, alizarin crimson, a little pink, a little pink. And the clouds then are going to the right. And it comes back down. But I did the sky like this. I made it luminous and beautiful and not happy, not happy, but lovely colors that was at the... Uh, counterbalance the heaviness of the foreground. This was my way of expressing the uh, sacrifices that were made here, uh, the men that gave their lives, and, uh, as a, and, and that they're in a good place, that they're in a good place. It was here that I fell in love with George Washington, and it was here that I decided I would become an, an historical painter and continue with the study of history. One of the best things that ever happened to me. Kay, thank you so much. Thank you very much.